What is up guys, Computer MD of Gilbert here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add Google AdSense to your Wix website. Now I know I made an updated video of this about three months ago, but since then there's been a little confusion of AdSense on the Wix app marketplace, and I've even gotten a few questions about what happens after and where to add this or where to add that. Uh, so I just want to clear up everything for you guys and just show you from beginning to finish what the process is going to look like. Before we get into that guys, wixmywebsite.com, link in the description below. Uh, the course is still available for pre-order. It will go live on April 3rd. The first 10 people that enrolled that were on the email list are currently uh, undergoing the process of one-on-one -on -one training with me. But you guys can come here, sign up for this newsletter, and I'm going to send out weekly Wix tips exclusive to you guys that I will not show here on the YouTube channel. So you're going to want to get signed up. It'll help you learn more about Wix and hopefully bring you closer to either starting your first website or finishing your current website. So go ahead and hop on that email list. Now let me show you how to add Google AdSense to your Wix website. So we're going to go into the app market and we're going to type in... Google AdSense then you'll see right here Google AdSense click that click add to site and then bam there it is now let me explain something one of the confusing factors that happened about uh, within the past three months Google AdSense was temporarily taken off of the Wix app marketplace the only reason they did that was to do some updating and some make some changes to the app so I know there was kind of an uproar of that in my comments section on the video about three months ago, but I just wanted to tell you guys, if you're still wondering and you're still out there curious as to what happened, Google AdSense is back on the Wix app marketplace and you simply add it just like I just did. Um, but yes, yeah, so there was a bit of confusing. I could understand how that may have alarmed you or worried you a little bit, but it is back. So once we add it, you'll see right here, this is pretty much what your ad will look like. You could, you know, drag it out, but it's going to stay that size until Google actually starts placing ads. Now we're going to double click it to open the settings. When we open the settings, you'll see the first thing here is uh, content. You choose whether you want a text ad, an image ad, or a text and image ad. Um, completely up to you. You choose this, what's going to work best for your website. Then you could choose the layout, whether you want it square. A tall ad to maybe be on the sidebar or a wide ad to maybe be placed at the top or bottom of your website again customize that to your needs and then the style you choose the fonts the colors uh, the sizes all of that that is completely up to you once you have determined your style and customized it to your website's needs you're gonna click get started when you click get started you're gonna see this pop up it says welcome to AdSense so then what you're going to do is sign in to your Google account or create an account for your AdSense. This So Google AdSense is obviously linked to your Google account. Once you create your account, it's going to have you put in your website information and your link, and then it's going to have you put in like your personal information. What I need you guys to understand that's very important, that's been, I can't even explain how many times I've gotten comments on this is people getting declined on AdSense, um, people not having them you know, approve them. So when you put in your website's information, you need to make sure a couple things. First off, chances are very good if you do not have a custom domain, Google is not going to approve your AdSense application. The only reason for that is a custom domain kind of establishes credibility um, and establishes you know good faith on the internet and Google looks at that. So Google wants only the best websites and something that won't be spam. A lot of times um, people that are trying to spam what like stuff on their website will just go ahead and throw like in this case a .wix.com domain on or a .weebly any of those and Google doesn't approve them because of that reason next thing you need to know when setting up your website here in this your website section um, if it asks for any titles or subtitles anything like that 
do not add anything catchy don't add any exclamation points don't add anything that like jumps in your face like when i say catchy i mean have a catchy title have a catchy subtitle but don't do anything that could possibly be taken as spam or um, a fraud anything like that I know this seems a little crazy and a little complex but Google looks at everything when it comes to that any exclamation point they'll be like huh exclamation points are usually used in blank and could be used as spam so you need to be very careful when setting up your website portion here in AdSense so I just wanted to clarify that remember get a custom domain name if you want to be approved um, don't do anything flashy or anything crazy that's gonna get you flagged for spam um, make sure you don't have any like odd links on your website that like just trace back to random places um, make sure your website has lots of content on it uh, videos text uh, pictures um, because Google also looks at that they review your website and if it's just a whole bunch of links hyperlinks here or there or uh, just a whole bunch of buttons anything like that they're most likely going to decline you so make sure you have a full website lots of content the best way I always like to do this is add Google Adsense last when creating your website so I mean get all of your content down get all of your pictures all of your videos all of your text all of your buttons all of your menus everything do everything on your website and then submit your website to Google for approval now, if you guys do get declined by Google, they do send you kind of like a criteria explaining why they declined your application. And you can go through, fix your website, and make sure that you hit all their checkpoints and then resubmit it for um, approval. However, it's better obviously to get it done right the first time as that is a very irritating process. So that's that. I wanted to make sure I drilled that into you guys just so you know because I've gotten tons of questions regarding that. The next and last question I got regarding AdSense is the question, Google has provided me with a code to place my ads. Where do I set that up at? Okay, to answer your question, sometimes for whatever reason this happens to people, Google won't just use this ad right here and they'll give you a code to place your ad in if they do give you HTML code guys you're simply gonna go to add go down to more on the list and then you'll see HTML code you'll click that now double click this you'll see right here what do you want to add for some people it automatically has website address and it says HTTPS only guys to simply change that, you're just gonna press code. And then whatever code Google gave you, you'll paste that into here and click update. When you do that, it'll populate right here in this box and this box won't be gray anymore. And then you simply have an ad or I don't know what Google is possibly giving you to paste into that, but whatever they are, you'll have that right here. And that's simply how you add that. Guys, I hope this video was a little bit more clear and helped you a little bit better uh, as far as understanding the approval process and how to add Google AdSense to your Wix website. I wanted to make sure I hit this video in depth because I have gotten endless questions on that, which I love your questions because it allows me to tweak my videos and make you know updated videos like this to help you out. So if this did help you out, please drop me a like down below. Subscribe to me here on Computer MD of Gilbert if you haven't already. And finally, comment if you have any more questions, if I could do anything differently. If you have any other Wix video suggestions, go ahead and comment. I'm more than open to making videos for people and showing you how to do certain things here in Wix. So that's how you add Google AdSense to your Wix website. Guys, one last time, if you have not yet gone to WixMyWebsite.com, maybe pause the video right now, link in the description below. Go sign up for this newsletter to get my weekly Wix tips. They're going to be beneficial to you guys, and I know there's a ton of email lists out there that you're just like, eh, whatever, this is just like the last one. But I promise you, I'm going to send you beneficial tips, and you're going to get access to certain things that not everybody on the list will, like not everybody else will get access to. So um, go ahead and sign up for this newsletter. 
Thank you guys for spending a couple minutes with me, and I enjoyed helping you guys out once again. And I will catch you on the next one.